I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. I consider this brain training. I want to train my brain to see patterns, especially knitted and shifted. Knitted tiles and shifted pungs and chows. They're not always clearly visible. So I like to do these random pulls to see if I can train my brain. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east. And we'll just say that we're the dealer for these. So we'll take 14 random tiles each time and then see if we can identify a scoring element with the randomly drawn tiles. There we go. Look at all those BAMs. We do have a pair of twos here. So what I was thinking is we could maybe do seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, or chi, pure double chi, or pure double chow. Pure double chow is one, half flesh is six, that's seven. I think what I would do is hold this because we could maybe do all pung, but if we did half flesh, pure double chow concealed, that would be eight points. Six points for half flesh, one point for pure double chow, and concealed would be two points. Fully concealed would be four. That's how I would do this. I would try to do this concealed. Half flesh concealed, maybe pure double chow if we can get that eight. Hold these as long as possible. If we pair up, we could do all pung. But I, I think I'd rather play a flesh. Let me know if you would do something different with this one. Write random pull one and what you would do with these tiles. Now we're going to do south round. Okay, single honors, that's rough. We are east seat and it's south round. If we paired these up, we could get a pone of our own wind or the wind of the round. Here we have potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. I think I would try for half flesh again and then discard these. These are all isolated. This not so much, but that would be an offsuit chow that would drive the score down. I would play a half flesh again. Start by discarding these. There is a slight chance for a mixed triple chow though, right here, one, two, three, or three, four, three, four, two, three, maybe discard these first. See if mixed triple chow comes in or half flush. I think that's what I would shoot for primarily and then hold these just to see if mixed triple chow comes in. West run. Flowers. You do not count flowers in your minimum points. Don't make that mistake as I have in the past. We can get replacements though. Okay, Dragon Pung, that's two points, I believe. Dragon Pung, two points. We need score. Here's a six, 
We have a six in each suit. There's potential there. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. We do have a six, eight, six, eight, six, eight. So maybe mixed triple chow dragon pwn. Mixed triple chow number 41 is eight points. We are east seat, west round. I think I would throw the north first. See about punging this dragon and do mixed triple chow. If you would do something differently with these tiles, let me know in the comment section below. Write random pull three and we'll do one more. North round. Flowers. Flower. Okay, here we have a pair here and a pair here. Let's see, these are middle tiles. All these are middle tiles. Middle tile. I was thinking we do have ones and nines and an east, but that would leverage a pair of one bams. I think what I would probably do is play half flush again. Get rid of these first, or maybe even these two, or maybe this one. Because, oh, we'd have to sacrifice a pair. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to leverage that pair. We could have a potential chow there, there, there. One, two, three blocks. Potential here. Mm. Four, five, six, four, five, six. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. If we can get a seven crack and an eight crack, we could have what's called pure shifted chows. I mean, that we'd have to work for though. We'd need a seven crack or uh, another six crack pretty quick. But there is some potential for pure shifted chows in there. So I think I would discard these first. Hold these for a while. See if we pair up. And that's how I would play this one. If you would do something differently here, write random pull four in the comment section and what you would do differently. There we go. I really am focused on shifted chows, knitted tiles, and outside hand. Those patterns, I think, are a lot more prevalent than my mind sees right now. So these exercises really help me focus on those patterns. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you recognize scoring elements. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell afterwards so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong Competition Rules, also known as MCR, may all your picks be keepers.